You're not really saying that music can kill, are you? Yes, I am. I believe that the music I heard is a killer. It's a killer of hope. It's a killer of spirit. You know why you people can't stomach our songs? Because they're a mirror, dig? <laughs> Like, you want to go to a house show and I was like what's that and I could only figure it out coming here in person everybody's like free everybody just does their own thing and it's beautiful I've met new friends every time I go out. I mean, everyone is collectively there for the music, and it, I think it's an automatic bonding moment that you guys just show out for these people that want to make music. that's usually a, a sign of violence but here it's a sign of like letting it out being one with all another moving the same way as the other person and I just I have the, the best of times
see you next time, Modena. Give it up for the stand, check out Max. Thank you, the mirror. We love you. Have a good night. I had never been to a venue or a house show before starting the mirror because it was coming out of COVID times and it was kind of like a sparse area. I had been living in Champaign, boo, <laughs> instead of uh, Urbana and uh, I never really got around to that scene at all. And it was weird as a musician who likes all this music for me to like not even know that it was a thing. I didn't even know the American Football House was in town until like my junior year. And um, yeah, so I just, I hit up all the bands like three months in advance, Soft and Dumb, uh, Longbirds, Ocean Child, and uh, I gave them so much notice that they were like, oh yeah, got nothing better going on. DIY space um, started by musicians and trying to prioritize treating musicians as best we can and trying to create a safe space for the crowd and a great spot for people to meet each other. I think uh, we've done, or I've done this for a long time now, and all of the guys have a lot of vision, like creative direction as well. So we're trying to do things in line with our, you know, our aesthetics or our vision. Or, we found out that a lot of people also really resonate with that. Um, my old buddy, his Sorry, name is also Max. He came all the way out from California to come home for it. It's been a great night. Um, on the ground floor, it's real muddy right now. Maybe the muddiest this place has ever been. But so, so good night was had by all. A big part of it is just the communal aspect that goes into it. We have a lot of us uh, putting in our own tastes and our own personalities into stuff. And, you know, it checks a lot of boxes instead of just coming from one spot and everything traces back to one person or one mindset, you know? The mirror's so good, I fucking drove three hours back to fucking see it again. I remember just that one night on tour, it's like, man, dude, we lifted this one dude who's like 300 fucking pounds in here. We're making dreams come true. I I'm sad to see it go. I'm truly sad. I, I just discovered it, and I always just wish we could have more fucking mosh pits, more fucking ragers here.
What brings us back to Champagne is definitely just like the community of the people here and, and just like the support that we feel when we come back and stuff. And it seems like people here really treat our success as their success and just want the best for us. And I don't know, it's always just a very special community to be a part of. So we'll never stop coming back to Urbana as long as we're a band. I'm excited to see you guys. I, yeah. I don't actually think I've ever come I think we, do we play at Rose Bowl together? No. No? Like last year? Did we? Mm -hmm. Did we play together? I don't know. I don't. a lot of Rose Bowl. Because I remember <laughs> seeing you guys at Rose Bowl. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I remember. I, think I, I remember. I haven't seen Stanger. I remember so. seeing, the last time I saw Kangaroo Court at the Rose Bowl, you were playing with the Knee Highs. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And you weren't on that. Yeah. No, I have yet like, to see you guys actually. Year, like, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I've heard a bunch of great shows. Yeah, no, that should be fun. Awesome. You just played at the barn. We did. Oh, yeah. 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 I, was at, I was at that. Dude, it was awesome. We yeah. loved the barn. I was so bummed that it took me until I was like 21 to figure out that there was this like scene on campus, the side of campus that that does this kind of thing. And thankfully, no one introduced me to it and I've never looked back. Check, check. How's everybody feeling? I just want to say how lucky we are to do this tonight, to be where we're at, to enjoy this music, and just be grateful. And I may mention that y'all gotta keep the fucking protest going. You gotta keep the fucking really fighting because it's working. We're doing fucking something very special, and I'm very proud of you all. All right, you may know this one. House shows, it's fun because when you like pack people in like sardines into a tiny room and then play them fast music, it's just like you see the whole crowd just like move as one wave and it's like this very cool experience to, to see people just like really going crazy in there. But then there's also like, you know, it's more apt for technical difficulties and things going wrong and you can't, you can't hear very well, you can't see very well. Um, so you have to definitely learn how to, you know, adapt and, and overcome those things at, at house shows. So it was good that we started off that way, I think, just have everything go wrong. <laughs> I, uh, I'm really happy with the house show scene now. I think there's a lot of great places and a lot of great bands. I think people do a good job, you know, and there's a lot of, it's not a competition, but there's competition, you know, so it, it makes other people want to do better, you know, when there's other venues that are doing well. You know, when we see something cool, it's like, oh, like, that's a good idea, we should do that, and it kind of bounces off of each other. The mirror is the only the only place that it's easy to play. Every other place in my life has been hell. And if you ask me, the mirror ending is just a complete tragedy, and I'm gonna miss it literally for every day, probably for the rest of my life. And I just don't know how we'll go on. We have the metro in July, but it's just not gonna be the same. I don't know how we're gonna go on. With the <laughs> I love that kitchen. <laughs> He broke some shit. Oh, I knew that was that's gonna happen a few more times. Somebody turned off the power strip.
You ready to have a mosh pit in here or what? Yeah. This next song is called Totally Cash Mosh Pit. Let's <laughs> go. 
box in every cow and you get written up, but it wasn't even you. This is me setting up my, like, obnoxiously big rig. All my silly pedals. I have shit running into the effects loop. It's asinine. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Okay. 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 Are you staying hydrated? Yeah. Everybody better be okay. If you haven't had at least two bottles of water before you left here, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna make you drink water, okay? No hangovers, okay? This next one's off the new EP2. It's called Fushigi. It's here! It's sweeping the nation! It's Fushigi! Fall back to the moon as a fashion game. That was our last song, but I'd like to make a public service announcement. Keep DIY alive! I'm gonna ask you a question are any of you musicians? Start a fucking band if you're not in one already. You know, I really hope that that's the thing that comes across when people come here is that they know that we care, that we care a whole lot about this stuff. You know, like bars or other places, parties, you know, people are there to party, you know, and you don't have the opportunity to just introduce yourself to somebody and, you know, make a connection. And that's something, uh, one of the reasons why I started this was to make those friends and make that connection. So I do love doing it for the music, but it's also about meeting people and creating a space that you would want to be a part of. If I could describe the mirror in one word, oh, that's such a hard question. Um, I could say over.